what is an ACL? And what do we do when we've injured it? Today, I'll be talking to a knee surgeon and a physiotherapist to find out just that. So thank you for joining us today. Can you let me know exactly what the ACL's core function is? The ACL is the anterior cruciate ligament. It's one of the main ligaments inside the knee and its primary function is to provide stability to the knee. And that can be in a front to back direction or in a rotatory direction. So I'm in the gym a lot, obviously, personal trainer, and I tend to find that I see more of these injuries amongst athletes more than I would with my day-to-day -day clients. Why is that? So I see a lot of patients um, who perform a lot of sports like netball, rugby and football. And in those sports, they're high risk because there's a lot of twisting activity and also there are a lot of collisions. In those moments, lots of force goes through the knee and sometimes I can go through the ACL and snap it, causing an ACL tear. So what are the chances of me getting an ACL tear, say, if I'm just walking up the street? Very low. Going in a straight line is, is not really stressing your ACL. The, the time that your ACL is at risk is when you're twisting it, like when you're skiing and you have a fall, or if you, if you have a nasty tackle in football, or you, you land funny in that netball. Now add high heels into the situation when I'm walking up the street. Now what are my chances? You're more likely to injure your ankle. After an ACL injury, it's not just about dealing with the pain, right? Can you talk us through what the recovery journey would, I guess, typically look like? You're right, it's not just the pain. One of the biggest symptoms is instability, feeling a giving way and obviously that can have a big impact on quality of life and, and function and things like that and then there's a lot of swelling typically as well in the acute phase so the role of any treatment early on is to try and reduce that pain control that swelling the recovery journey is long just the, just from the injury itself regardless of whether you have surgery or you manage it conservatively it is a long recovery and you need to be patient with it you can't skip phases as yeah. you go through you know you're talking about instability, what does that feel like? It's essentially a feeling of the knees just going to buckle from underneath you. So typically it'll happen if you're coming like downstairs, you'll okay. feel like it's just going to shift. So you'll literally feel like the, the shin bone is going to slip. Um, sometimes it's just it's like it buckles, sometimes it can lead to falling. Modern medicine these days seems to have come a long way in comparison to where it was quite a few years ago. I wouldn't even actually say that long ago in terms of treating an ACL. So can you elaborate a little bit more on that? There's been a lot of research into the topic not only from the uh, rehabilitation point of view, but also into the surgery. The techniques have changed a lot and we have lots of new keyhole equipment and kit that we're able to use to reconstruct the ACL in a much more reliable way. Does this make your job a lot easier these days? I guess so. Um, there, there are there's still a lot we, we are researching into the topics. If anything, I would say it probably makes my life a bit more complicated because we, we are doing additional procedures now to try and protect the ACL reconstruction that we've done to try and uh, stop the patients from having to have another one in the future. If someone's had surgery, do they always have to have physiotherapy afterwards? 100%. The, the surgery is just a small part of treating the injury. To regain the strength, flexibility and stability around the knee, that's not achieved through the operation, that's achieved okay. through the physio afterwards. Thanks for watching our video on ACLs. For our next video, click here.